What is going on YouTube is Mr. Julius Mize and in this video I'm going to be teaching you all on the PlayStation 3 who have jailbroken consoles how to um, in install and design your own custom PS3 notify no notify uh, colors and I'm also going to be showing you guys how to change the image and a lot of people were wanting a tutorial and some are wanting mine which I have mine right here I'm actually going to be giving you guys the one that I make in this tutorial I really don't want to give out my purple one I did some thinking about it and I really like it I don't really want anybody else to have my specific design so the one that I'm going to be making in this tutorial I'll link it below as a, just a reference to download and use if you don't feel like doing all of this so there's going to be a few things you're going to need to this video and this video might be about 20 minutes long, it just depends on how quick I can get it done but I want you guys to not have any bricks or anything. So just keep that stuff in mind. So what you're going to need for this is a Joe Welcome PlayStation obviously. You're going to need access to an FTP server from your console to your PC so I really recommend using Rebook Toolbox or you really can't do this. You don't have to be on Rebook to use Rebook Toolbox as I run Ida and I can still use it for the FTP. So you want to make sure you're signed out of the PlayStation Network and you want to just load up Rebook Toolbox and once you load it up you want to just get to the screen where you see the system information and uh, click X on that and then you're going to see, see an option that has your IP address and you want that's the IP address you're going to really want to need for connecting your PlayStation 3 to your PC. So you're going to need that, that FTP and then you're going to need uh, FileZilla and I'll link FileZilla and I'll link Reba Toolbox and all that stuff below. So don't <coughs> worry about that. Um, once, you got, once you got FileZilla downloaded and Notepad++ installed, you're going to need Photoshop. I'll link a crack version of that. And you're going to need um, the folder with the RCO editor. So once you got that, you want the first thing you want to do is open up FileZilla and you want to connect your console so reload toolbox get the IP and type it in the host and then leave these blank or if you want to put something in you, you can I just recommend leaving them blank hit click connect and then you should get this stuff over here uh, you want to go to dev rebug and you want to go to DSH and you want to go to uh, resource and uh, I will give you guys my code boot that I made um, that your code boot will be installed in the same directory in the dev rebuild DSA resource. You just drag it in here. As you can see, here's the code boot the HC3 file. That's the songs and that's the image. So, yeah. Once you're inside of dev uh, underscore rebug and VSH and resource, you want to just scroll all the way down to the S's and you want to find the system plug in the RCO and you want to just drag it out to the desktop. Once you've done that, you can exit out of this or minimize it. I'm just going to minimize it. And you want to put the system plug in the RCO file inside the RCO editor folder. So I'm just going to put that in there and then move on place. And once you got it inside of here, hold on, I'm just going to make sure I get it back of this. Okay, so once you have the plug in the RCO file inside of here, you want to uh, open up the RCO GUI and you're going to get this little tab here. Once you got this tab here, you want to go to RCO input and it should automatically put you in this directory. But if it doesn't, then just go to desktop and then RCO editor and then go to system config, system plugin, and then open. And then go to XML input and click browse and this and the name is to whatever you want it to be. This is just a text file. And then you can make sure these three are checked and that's checked and then uh, hit dump. And give it a minute to process. It should say successful. Successfully dumped. And then click OK and then just minimize this. And you can change your text. So you just drag out your text and you go in here and then right click with uh, Notepad++ 
And you can see here, I've already changed all of mine. I'm not gonna change them, I'm trying to be burning the gold metal. I'm not gonna really change none of this stuff. You can see mine's all changed, those is offline, new message received, it's got million symbols. I'm not gonna change those. If you guys wanna change that, I can make a separate tutorial on that, but you just wanna drag it out like, like this. And um, once you've done that, you wanna go inside your images folder and you should see all this stuff. And once you see all, all of these, uh, you wanna scroll down and if you wanna change the bar color, like whenever you get like a friend request or a message or like a notification, like a trophy or something, that message box can be colored as a different design. I use this purple one here. Um, if you want to change that bar color, then drag out the text notification and then drag out the uh, friend and info. I'm just going to drag out the platinum one. And uh, I'm going to be changing the platinum one here to this red suit. And I'm going to be changing this purple to a red abstract uh, design. So I'm just going to search up red abstract image and now you just want to go to google and just search up whatever images you want like if you want like the icon image can it can do it at whatever you want it to be you don't have to do what i do you can choose your own uh designs for these so just go on google and search up like an icon for the little notification image like i have the little red suit icon and then uh find whichever color you want to use for the bar color. I just choose abstract color so it looks somewhat cool. I'm gonna go with this one. So you just find that image you want and then save it to your desktop and then I'm just gonna put it right here next to it. You put bar color. You don't have to rename it, I'm just gonna do it so you guys know what is what and then image. Once you have them like that, you want to just open up Photoshop and let it give it a minute to load up. Okay, once it's open, you want to go to File, Open, and the first thing you want to open is whichever thing you want to change first. I want to change my bar color first. So I'm gonna open that up like that and then go to file open again and then get the end but the bar color for that or if you're doing the icon get the new icon doing the icon second so once you got the bar color opened up you get a new one you want to unlock it like I just did and then hit control J make a copy of it and then you want to just hide that one and you want to choose the pointer key and then you want to choose hit control T and you want to make this really small about like that size at most and then you want to apply that and then you want to just click and drag it over to the bar color so this is my bar color right here that I'm wanting so you just want to make it about the same size as this one you don't want it touching the sides really nor the bottom like that you want it kind of like that and once you've done that then delete the old one and then so it's like this and then hit file and then save and then you change the bar color so I'm going to close out of that and then once you've done the bar color or the icon color which I want you done first you want to go back and this time I'm going to be doing the icon image so I'm going to be changing the purple suit here to the red suit so um, you want to copy this hide the back one and then control T on this suit and then make it small just like you did the uh, the pr you did the bar color or you did the icon first and then click and drag like like last time over to this like that and then you want to make it the same size as this or just a little bit bigger once you've done that just, just apply and then delete the old layer like that and then file and then save and then that and you can do as many as you want like you can do all the trophies and stuff I just don't really do the trophies like all the trophies I actually do is the platinum one and uh, the firm request received, the message received, and the bar color. So as you can see here, it, that this is now that, and that is now that. So once you've done that, you want to go back to that um, directory, and you want to just 
drag these back over inside of here like that and then you want to open up that same folder again and then open it up on this side and you want to go to the gym cov and you want to copy and paste one of these in here whichever one you want to do first and once you've done that you want to make sure you're inside this folder here this area directory and you want to hit control and then you want to hold shift and then right click and then choose open command window here and then drag the command window over here and then what you want to do now is um, minimize that and then open up that folder again and then this time go to the gym con, con v code and then you want to put this over here and you can just minimize that or you, can, you guys should close that if you yeah, you can close out of that, you don't need that anymore. And then open up this folder again. Okay, so what you want to do now is you want to come to this and you want to right click, rename, and just copy that. And then come to this notepad, and then you want to hit Control H. And where it says find wood, you want to type in text underscore PSN. And then replace it with, you want to paste what you just copied, and then hit replace all, and it should change all of that. Hit the X on this, and then select all of this and copy it. And then come to the CMD and then right click and paste and then hit, hit enter. And then it should pop up over here with the gem file with, with the PNG file. If you get that, then you did it right. Delete the PNG file out of that directory. And then come back over to this and then copy and paste with the next one that you changed. So in this case, it's the bar color. So you just do the same thing. You right click, rename, copy. And then come back to this, control H. And this time you want to find what, you're actually going to copy what, what you pasted for the first time. So delete that and you want to find this. And then paste it and then replace all and then X and then select all of this and copy. And then you can X out of that, you don't got to save it. And then uh, paste it. And then once you pasted it, you should get the same thing, a gem file. And then once you know that, you can exit out of the CMD and then delete this. And you can drag these to your desktop. And then go back and then you should see the images folder there. With the same, with the, those already in there. What you want to do now is you want to uh, come back up to this. And this time you want to uncheck all these and you want to hit uh, you want to delete the images folder and the sounds and then you want to check all of these and then you want to hit dump and it should say RCO is successfully dumped and then once you've done that you want to go to the compile and then go back to images and they should all be gem files and then what you do now is you just highlight these drag and replace them in here and once you've done that, you have successfully installed the RCO files. The last thing you want to do is go to the XML input. Choose, which, choose that XML document that, that you created at the beginning of the video. And then the RCO output, you're going to choose the RCO file that you put, placed in the folder. And once this comes up, you just want to confirm it as yes. And then choose the ZL, the ZLib, and then choose overwrite. And then make sure that's checked and then hit compile. And once you hit the compile, it will say are still successfully compiled. And then X out of this and then delete the images file, the sounds and the text. And once you've done that, then drag your plugin RCO over there and delete that too. You can X out of this, you can delete these, you don't need these anymore. You can delete the text file. I didn't. I didn't edit the text file in this tutorial. And as I said, that that was a little more in depth. So, if you want a tutorial for that? Then all you gotta do is just comment below. And if I get enough comments saying they want a tutorial on that, then I'll be more than glad to make a t tutorial on that. So what you do now is open up the files you load. You still have it open. If you don't have it open, just reconnect it and then go to the same directory. Dev underscore rebug vsa to resource and then drag this back over and then it should say the target file already existed choose ok it's going to override i'm going to do it one more time just to make sure that it's on there and then you can exit out of filezilla and um 
I will end this PC screen here and I will reboot my PlayStation and, and what you want to look for to see that's changed is my platinum trophy is changed to the red suit and my bar color is changed to the red abstract color so once my PS3 boots up make sure you, that you're looking in the right side of my screen and you will see that it was that it, it is changed and you guys will know that it's changed because I've been having the purple edits I'm gonna put my purple edit back on but what I just created here in this tutorial I'm gonna be linking it in a file all made up with the red stuff it's gonna be a red multi-man theme in there and the red lines and all that stuff for you guys so yeah, if you guys enjoyed this tutorial and it helped you out, please give me a like. And if you're new to my content, subscribe. I, I try my best to upload Xbox and PS3 mod mini showcases and tutorials for both of those. And um, yeah, I will see you guys all in my next video. So yeah, peace.